In this video, um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about why I'm upset today. And I'm upset today um, because today TRW, um, the Rhinestone World, has released their uh, kind of a sneak peek of their new uh, Stone Wizard macro for Corraldraw. Now, there's nothing wrong with competition. Competition is a good thing. It makes us all better, um, and, and we strive to create better products for our customers. But where I get frustrated is is the amount of confusion it creates in the marketplace. I'm a I'm a true believer that uh, the 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 best product will will rise to the top. So you know we both have demonstrations of our software, download them, use them, try them, either you like it or you won't like it. Um, and irrespective of price and all of that other monkey business, if you just look at the programs themselves, what they do, what they don't do, how they work, um, you'll make your own decision what suits you best. The reason that I'm creating this video, and I, again, obviously I'm biased, totally biased, I'll admit that straight up, um, I'm not against competition. What I'm against, and we all, we all deal with it in this industry, nothing upsets you more to sit down and create a design that you've worked on for an hour and you've provided a mock-up for your customer and they wind up going three shops down the road because they offered the same shirt for three dollars less and used your design okay that would torque you off because you just worked an hour and a half to create it and they went and copied it and you didn't get paid so that would upset anyone well, imagine if you spent two years developing a rhinestone software to have someone else come in and copy every single feature you had. Um, that would be pretty frustrating. And th the reality is, is it's perfectly legal to do so. Uh, anyone could hire a developer and say, okay, here, sit down and make me a duplicate of this, of this software application. In fact, if you think about it, you have Microsoft Office. You can go out and spend hundreds of dollars on Microsoft Office, but you could also, for free, down open, download OpenOffice, works on PC and Mac, and basically have every feature that Microsoft Office has in OpenOffice for free. So, you know, um, that's where the issue that we have. The problem that I have with the Rhinestone world, yes, I'm calling you out, and I certainly recognize that this video is going to upset some people. Some people are going to get really upset because they're big TRW supporters, and you know what? That's okay. Other people are going to recognize that, you know what? He's right, that whether it legally it's right or not, it's immaterial. It's really the principle of the thing. If, if we don't like our stuff being copied, we shouldn't turn around and support a business that is copying somebody else's work. And once you see everything that I would like to show you, it just kind of, and I'm not going to spend hours and hours, but a few minutes just so you have a better understanding. Just since this morning... They did an online webinar just this morning on all the new features in, in uh, the TRW Stone Wizard. Well, of course, people are going to say, well, what's the difference between Easy Stone and the TRW Stone Wizard? Well, the difference is we innovated all those new features you saw demonstrated. We actually innovated them long before he did. That's the difference. We created it from scratch. He copied it. So the next time you create a design and someone else copies it, if you continue to support the rhinestone world, well, then really you shouldn't complain because absolutely he copied Easy Stone. He'll swear up and down that no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. I've never looked at an Easy Stone video, but it's going to be hard to deny all the similarities. All that aside, let's talk specifics so you have a better understanding that what you find in the TRW Stone Wizard already exists in Easy Stone. Always has. Um, so let me just bring open the TRW interface here. Now this is just a, a, a screen capture that was sent to me. And you can see right away there are lots of similarities. We have all these quick pick color selections. 
Okay, this was something that we introduced um, several months ago, I would say. You can see all along the bottom of our interface because it makes selecting colors quicker. So, of course, it makes sense to duplicate that because it's quicker, of course. So, that's a nice uh, option, and you can see it duplicated here in the Stone Wizard. You can also see these three tiny little buttons. These will allow you to resize your current selection. So if I had an SS10 and I clicked on this tiny little button here that says 6, then it would switch it to an SS6. Well, we already have those buttons here in Easy Stone, 6, 10, 16, 20, and 30. We already have all those buttons right here. So that is, uh, again, another example of that didn't exist previously, but now it exists and it has always existed here inside Easy Stone. Let's go ahead and uh, pull open a couple of more images to take a look. Now, this is another uh, example. This is the magic weed function. Okay, and what this does is it adds weed boxes around your fonts. Um, so if you if you had a whole alphabet and you wanted to add a sticky flock box around it to create it, to cut it out as a rhinestone alphabet, um, then that's what this magic weed function does. So uh, over here in Easy Stone, if we come to our font manager, you'll see we have a tab called Easy Font. And in this tab, we have this function called Easy Weed, where we can set the margin and we can create the weed boxes around all of our lettering. Well, if you look here, it's the same thing. You can set in, in the TRW Stone Wizard, it actually gives you the option to set the top and side margin where we use the same margin all the way around and the spacing between it allows you to specify that as well which we don't have a need for but when you choose create it'll create the weed create the weed box around whatever font that you had selected now what's interesting too you see here it says material settings you have width height and margin well if you go over here to prep for cut uh, prep for cut we have the same configuration, template material with height and margin. And this has existed for a long, long time. So it's just a matter of copying the existing configuration that we already had. You see here there's a function that says group letters. Well, you notice that we already have that function. It says group letters or combine letters. Now, we do take it one step further where we allow you to specify the distance between stones to determine what letters should be grouped with what. So in this case, we're saying anything that's closer than two millimeters apart, group that as one single object. Where here, it's just going to kind of do it more or less automatically. If we So that is uh, the magic weed. And again, that already exists here um, in Easy Stone. The next thing to take a look at is the design prep function. You can see we have an option that says process by color. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to import third-party designs uh, into CorelDRAW. And these circles mean nothing to the Stone Wizard. These circles mean nothing to Easy Stone. We need to convert those circles into some type of uh, information that these programs can then uh, be able to create something from. So we have this design prep function where we can process by color. And so if you come over here into Easy Stone, you can see we have this additional utility called Easy Prep. And notice we have the same preview window that you find here in the TRW Stone Wizard. And we have the option of either processing or processing by color. Now, we have some additional features in our design prep function um, that I won't go over. But you can see we have the weed box color. And if you look over here, you have the weed box color where we can add a background or add a watermark. And you can see we have all that same functionality right here in our Easy Prep. And again, this functionality has existed in Easy Stone for quite some time, literally, I mean, since probably at least a year, year and a half for sure. I mean, this has been around for a long, long time. So it's just a matter of taking something that's already great and duplicating it. Um, because without it, 
You just don't have all the functionality uh, that you'd have if you had Easy Stone. So that's another um, example of it being copied. So we'll go back over here. If we take a look here, you can see we have the group button and an ungroup button and an ungroup all button. All buttons that we already have here in Easy Stone, which is the group and the ungroup. We already have that functionality. You can see here we have a drop stone function. That button right there is a drop stone function. And right here we have a, the same drop stone function. Except in ours, what we can do is when you drop a stone, we just hit the escape key to exit out of it on the keyboard whereas in his you'll click on drop stone you'll click 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 drop stone and then you have to click on the button again to exit out of the function um, you can see here we have this option where it says select all between two or we have an option that says select by curve well we have that same option with this one button which is select so for example let me just give you an example quick so if we have this situation we select one but one stone and one stone and hit S. It will create a selection of everything in between, and you can see we can give it a different color. If we have a curve, we'll create a curve along the path, and we hit S. Then you can see what it does. It picks up everything that interacted the curve. Okay, so if we if we just came in here, let's what if we did a curve like this? and we did a curve like this and we'll do a curve like this so now we're not touching every single stone so now when we hit S you can see it skipped over the stones that were not touching the path so easy stone is a little bit smarter and allows us if we only have two objects selected it knows to select between two when we hit S and if we have a curve selected then it knows if we select S to select everything that interacts with that curve. So rather than have two buttons, we just have the one. And depending on what we have selected will depend on what function is performed. And I'm sure that will be copied too because it only makes sense. It simplifies um, the selection process. All right, now the bring to front and, and send to back, that's not necessary because, at least in our opinion, because you can hit shift page down and shift page up Shift page down will send the selection to the bottom. Shift page up brings the selection to the top. So no point in really having that function, uh, in our opinion, taking up valuable screen real estate. We have a respace function here in uh, TRW Stone Wizard, the very same respace function that we have here in Easy Stone. You can see you have the up-down arrows right here, and that will add a stone to the to whatever you respaced or take one away and we have that same functionality and have had for a long time this isn't something we copied um, but we have had you just click on this button to add a stone right click on the button to get rid of one um, so we've always had that functionality this this icon here is a delete stone paths which of course that's what this D button does will delete stone paths and we also have a separate delete stone paths button there as well. These buttons here are check spacing and it will it will delete what's on top or delete what's on bottom whereas our check spacing tool does the same exact function. The only difference is is we will uh, our check spacing will only delete what's on bottom. We don't feel that there's a need to delete what's on top. So you can see just you know all kinds of different functionality. The info button here is for your stone use report. And if we click on our stone use report, you can see our stone use report. But we also have the option to calculate the stone price for this particular project. And I'm sure in due time that the um, stone pricing uh, function will probably be duplicated as well. So. I could go on and on and on. I've already spent about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, actually, I'll show you one more function here um, because this is brand new, Magic Trap, a brand new function here in the TRW Stone Wizard. And again, that has already existed for some time um, for our Easy Stone users, which we call it Overlap Objects. So you can either do inside or outside. And you notice here there's a little text field next to Magic Trap that allows you to specify the amount of trapping you want to do. Well, here inside Easy Stone, if we right click on overlap, 
that will allow us to set the offset value or the trapping value. You can see that here. And usually that value does not change. We, we just set it and forget it kind of thing. So rather than have a separate little box, you just right click, allows us to, to choose what we want for our offset value, and it saves that until we change it again. We also have some additional functionality, which is our vinyl respacer and our apply blend. And I'm sure in due time that will probably be copied into the Stone Wizard as well, because these are actually quite useful uh, functionality. Now, I could, again, I could go on and on and on with the differences, but what I really wanted to focus on is these new, quote-unquote, new functions that were introduced into the TRW Stone Wizard. Those aren't new to the industry. Those are only new to the rhinestone world because we've always had those functions uh, in Easy Stone for a long, long time. Easy Stone also has some additional functionality as far as uh, when you go to export your designs and create your templates that is far superior, has some additional control and capabilities that are not yet introduced into the Stone Wizard. We also have a great uh, guideline utility that is so useful from, for when you're doing your um, designs to uh, set up your guidelines and so forth. Um, again, doesn't exist in the Stone Wizard uh, currently. Um, so there's a lot of functionality that we have here inside Easy Stone that have yet to make it into the Stone Wizard. But just know that these new features that are impressive when they're demonstrated uh, in the Stone Wizard, don't get me wrong, it's just those features have already existed and they've just been copied over. That's it. Um, so nothing new there. So my rant is over. At the end of the day, check it out. Decide for yourself. Here's what I want to leave you with. For those who are considering either program, download the demos when, when they become available. Our Easy Stone demo is a 60-day demo. So you can download it and use it for two full months and really get to know the program. We have literally dozens of videos showing you all kinds of different logos from the very complex to more easy type demonstrations. And these videos go take you from the very first click to the very last click. So we leave nothing out full of details to show you what it really takes to create a great looking design. The other thing I want to tell you is the TRW Stone Wizard is going to be listed at $279 for the new version of the TRW Stone Wizard. Easy Stone is going to be listed at $229. If you purchase Easy Stone version 3, it's $229 for a new license. It also includes 20 rhinestone fonts. We also include 100 rhinestone designs that are ready to go for you as is, or you can use bits and pieces of them, hearts and baseballs and other types of footballs and other types of things in your own designs um, So to create your own configurations. So a nice library of designs to uh, get you going that you can then modify and, and as you like. So that is another bonus. We also have our Design of the Day membership where we, we post a new design every day. And these aren't just your average everyday designs. I mean, we really try to pump the Design of the Day with stuff that you're absolutely going to use in your business. Um, that uh, Design of the Day membership normally costs $24.99 a month. And if you're an Easy Stone user, um, then that uh, Design of the Day membership will come with Easy Stone for the first 90 days. So not only do you get the 100 designs that Easy Stone initial purchase, but you'll also get all of the designs that we post on the design of the day for a full three months. Um, so we post about 30 to 50 designs every month that you'll be able to download at no additional cost. So at the end of your 90 day trial, you'll have another 100 plus designs uh, available to you that you can use. So there's really huge, huge value there. The other thing I want to point out to you in, as in regards to Easy Stone is we do have a great subscription option. If you subscribe to our Design of the Day membership, it's $24.99, you get 30 to 50 brand new designs every day. You can check out the website, see what those designs are that we posted previously, and I think you'll agree they're pretty nice designs. And for $24.99, it's a small fee, you get them all. You could spend $24.99 just buying two or three designs. So 
you would get all of our Design of the Day membership designs uh, as part of that membership. The other thing is you get free shipping. If you're a Design of the Day member, you get free shipping on all your supply orders over $50. Again, you could save $25 just in shipping of your supplies. The other thing that we have is we have one special deal every month for our, that are specific to our Design of the Day members. And it's really a can't-miss deal. This month, for the month of February, any rhinestone order that was placed by a Design of the Day member was automatically doubled, um, so they got twice as many stones. So we had a lot of members that bought two $300 worth of rhinestones, and we gave them free two or $300 worth of rhinestones. So if they, if they bought 50 gross, then we doubled it to 100 gross. So again, easily save $25 there. Um, and every month it's something a little bit different, um, but it's those uh, special options are available to Design of the Day members. But where the real kicker is, not only do you get all those benefits um, as far as the daily designs and the free shipping and the special discounts that we offer on various uh, deals, but you also get Easy Stone. So there's no additional cost for Easy Stone. If you're a Design of the Day member, Easy Stone is free. Um, so it's a great can't miss deal um, because it's free. Um, just just be a Design of the Day member, and Easy Stone will uh, come with that membership for free. Any future updates to Easy Stone? Any future updates? If you're a Design of the Day member, doesn't matter what we do to Easy Stone, you'll always get those updates using the very latest version. Not spend another nickel. If you buy Easy Stone outright, any update that we do is free until we move to a new version number. So version 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, when we add new features, those are all free, free updates. If we switch to version 4 like a year from now, then yes, there'll be an upgrade fee of some sort. But if you're a Design of the Day member, when we switch to version 4, automatically included as part of your membership. So I'll leave you with that. Take it all in. Send me a bunch of nasty emails. That's okay. I, 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 I can take it. But I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated that there are people out there that put themselves out there, that they're above reproach, integrity is there, and then you can see that really, uh, and, you know, I have nothing personally against Matt or the rhinestone world. But yes, Easy Stone's my baby. And I'm frustrated. Um because of the similarities and it's hard to ignore when you when you look at feature for feature back and forth back and forth that all these features that are now in the stone wizard already existed in easy stone you know yes we're going to have similarities because they're both rhinestone programs but you know you you got design prep you got easy prep you got magic weed, you got easy weed. You got all these quick select colors, we got quick select colors. We got quick select stone size, we got quick select, quick select stone size. So, so many similarities. It's hard to ignore all of them. So, enough of my rant. I promise I'll let you go. Thanks for hanging in there and letting me vent a little bit. Thanks for watching.